50. Wait, never mind. Yeah. Go. Okay, lesson 50. <clears throat> Having problems getting people to film me, too. It's a challenge. Okay, this lesson, I didn't put the lesson title up because we're not going to do exactly what's in the lesson. But we're going to talk about how to plot points and um, how to, what an ordered pair is, how to plot an ordered pair. But before we do that, I wanted to review something from the last lesson that you might not have gotten. This is multiplying a binomial times a trinomial. So let's just review. You take the smaller one and you put it underneath the bigger one, like that. Then you're going to take the first number, multiply it by all three of the one above it. So 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 3x is 6x. 2 times x squared is 2x squared. So we took the 2 times all three terms in the trinomial. Now we're going to take the x times all three terms in the trinomial and line them up under the ones it matches. So x times 4 is 4x. Put your plus there. x times 3x is 3x squared. Positive, so put the plus sign. x times x squared is x cubed. There's no one to line that up with, so it gets to be by itself. Draw your line. You can add from either direction because we don't carry. And we get x cubed plus 5x squared plus 10x plus 8. So hopefully that clears up any questions you might have from yesterday. So we're going to plot these things called ordered pairs. Ordered pairs are two numbers that satisfy an equation with two variables. But we're going to talk about all that when we start graphing. So what we're going to do is we're going to go from, we're going to just take our ordered pairs, and this is what some ordered pairs look like. They go x, y. x always comes first in the ordered pair, and then y. So we're just going to talk about the coordinate system a little bit and how to plot these ordered pairs, and then later we'll put meaning to what we're doing. So let's look over here. This is called a Cartesian coordinate system, and I think some of you probably have done this in pre-algebra. The Cartesian coordinate system is where we're going to plot points and we're going to graph lines and parabolas and all kinds of different things. This is called the x-axis. It goes this direction. And this is our y-axis. There's four coordinate, four quadrants in a Cartesian coordinate system. We have quadrant one, starts here, quadrant two, quadrant three, and quadrant four. It goes counterclockwise, and now we use Roman numerals to do it. So we're going to start plotting the points. So let's look over here at the first one. We're going to plot the point 2, 2. I'm kind of assuming that you guys have done this before, so you can correct me if I'm wrong on Thursday. So we always start, the first number is the x coordinate, the second one is the y coordinate. So when we go over here, the first way we, put our, we start at 0, and we go to the x coordinate, we move 2. On the x-axis, we see a 2 for the x-axis, so we move over 1, 2, and then we stop there, and we do what the y-coordinate says. It says 2, so we go up 2 on the y-axis, and we put a point. And it's nice that these are, are labeled, we'll call it A, B, C, D. And that way when we come over here, we can label this point A, and we know it refers back to our coordinates for 2. Let's try to do the next one. B is minus 2, 3. So we do the same thing. We start in the center, but we go on the x-axis first. Remember, x comes before y, so we go on the x-axis first. So we would go minus 2, 1, 2, and the y-coordinate is 3. So from this point, we go up 3. 1, 2, 3, and we put our point, and we label it B. Let's try another one, C. This one, the x-coordinate, so that means we go on the x-axis, negative 4, and we go along the y-axis, negative 1. So here we go. We start at the center, 1, 2, 3, 4, in the negative directions, just like a number line. Negatives are over here, positives are over here. So we go 4, and now we go down 1 because it's a negative 1. So down 1 on the y-axis, and that would be our point right there, and that would be C. And our final one we're going to plot is D here. And it's 0, negative 6. So we would put our point at 0. And it is 0, so we don't move. And we just go down 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And that would be D. You notice that there's no, there's no x coordinate, so we're not going to go, there's no, it's 0 is our x coordinate, so we're not going to go left or right 
we're only going to go just up or down. And this one's down. And the last thing in this lesson is, this is a function. This is what we're going to graph on our coordinate system in the future. Function notations, you need to be very familiar with function notations. You're going to see it on the SAT and all different um, things that you do in the future. So this function is f of x equals 2x plus 3, and they want you to find f of minus 1. So all that means, I think we've done this before, is we're going to put a minus 1 in where the x is. So we're going to find f of minus 1 is just 2 times minus 1 plus 3. So we just replace both x's with negative 1, and you just work out the side, negative 2 plus 3 equals 1. And then we're going to find f of 3. So we just put in a 3 where the x is. So we get 2 times 3 plus 3, and we get 6 plus 3, and our final answer of f of 3 is 9. So that's it for lesson 50. Um, make sure you're ready tomorrow for a homework quiz. You never know when you're going to get those. So we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.